my dear ladies a very very good evening to you guys this is anjali taro and this is a journal love reading for all the aries sun moon venus rising from july till the december 2024 uh, i'm going to categorize this uh, reading into two parts first is for those who are completely single and wants to know what's coming towards them for the next six months and for the and uh, second part is for those who are already in a connection or relationship okay so let's see hmm Okay, so if you want to be a professional tarot card reader like me, you can start your journey by purchasing my course. The link is in the description box for the same. If you want to start your self-healing journey with hope, no, no, but don't know from where to start, you can definitely start by purchasing my masterclass. Again, the link is in the description box for the same. It has the power to change your life for the rest of your life. Trust me on that. I'm doing it from a very, very, very long time now. And if you want one-on-one -on -one healing sessions or personal readings, you can check out the description box and you can mail me for the same. So let's start. Okay, so for Aries singles, let's see what's going to happen for you guys for the next six months. Cool. We have July, August, September, October, November, December. So July, that golden mirror. Self-absorbed, narcissistic, one-sided relationship, love bombing. So, uh... Make sure that whosoever you are going to connect with, they are equally invested in you or it could be possible that someone is going to like you from a, uh, from one side and you are not going to like that person. But there are good chances that there will be some kind of love bombing. Someone is coming towards you, giving you a lot of love and then they are showing you their true colors. Okay, so beware of that kind of energies. For some of you, you are going to be so self-absorbed that even if somebody is coming towards you, you are going to be like not interested kind of a deal as of now. Okay, in July. So in August, we have the healthy choices, making healthy choices in love and life, self-love, self-care, being happier. So in August, you are going to have certain amount of energy of, I am going to make healthy choices in my love life, no matter what, I'm not going to uh, lower down my standards or I'm not going to just uh, be in a relationship for the sake of a relationship kind of a deal. August is all about, uh, about self-love, self-care, self-feeling and a lot of this energy of making healthy choices in your love and in your, love, uh, in your life uh, in general as well okay september is twin flames okay there are very good chances that in september you are going to meet somebody twin flame uh, journey is not for everyone it's like a twin flame is rarely two percent of people on earth meet their twin flames okay so don't go for the twin flame thing it's like you are going to find somebody who is going to have equal give and take of energy with you who is going to find you uh, as beautiful as they are as uh, compatible as they are with you as comfortable right then there will be a comfortable kind of a connection or a situation or a friendship kind of a deal can convert into something more meaningful okay so september we have hand of cards take a risk uh, being a uh, strategic options not showing hand gambling so i think in just give me a second july august september october it is it's october i think i'm sorry if i said september and this it's october so hand of cards in October, I think you are going to have a lot of options or you are going to keep your connection a secret for some reason. You are going to be like, even if you are going to have option, you are not going to tell it to anybody, right? Or somebody is going to be like, even if they are with you, they are going to not uh, tell it to anybody or they are not going to make it official for some reason. It could be, it could be them, it could be the both of you. But you will be having options and you are going to keep your options open at the same time. You are going to keep your things private in October. In November, we have the ascending, transcending obstacles, learning expansion, new phase, preparing for union. So in November, it could be possible that this connection that started in September, that is going to ascend, that is going to have a new phase, a second phase, a second chapter in November. And you're going to learn growth and expansion in that field. You're going to feel like uh, now you are ready for our union. Now you are ready for a connection. Now you are ready for something solid on the table kind of a deal. Hmm? December, we have the stabbed in the back, heartbreak, pain, separation, deception shocking attack so in december it could be possible that the connection is not going to work out the way you want it to work out it could it could be a possibility of some kind of uh, uh, secret coming out so uh, right now i think the uh, guidance here for you guys aries is to take it really very very slow okay because if you're going to be in a connection and you're going to fall for the connection just like that i mean you're going to take it very fast and you're going to be like okay ev this is my everything then i think there is going to be some kind of deceptive energy that will come out so take it really very slow okay so let's see for those who are already in a connection or related to somebody let's see for those who are already in a connection or related to somebody how it is going to be for you guys i'm going to go do the other readings with the tarot not with those cards they're kind of scary sometimes they scare the shit out of me as well so <laughs> with tarot let's see for those who are already in a connection
जुलाई अगस्त सेप्टेम्बर अक्टूबर नवम्बर एंड डिसम्बर फॉर जुलाई वी हैव द हैंड मैन आई थिंक इन जुलाई आई डोंट सी अ लॉट चेंजिंग और लॉट शिफ्टिंग आई डू सी योर परसपेक्टिव चेंजिंग योर थिंग योर परसेप्शन चेंजिंग टूवर्ड्स पीपल एंड सिचुएशन एंड टूवर्ड्स योर कनेक्शन एज वेल आई थिंक यू आर गोइंग टू बी इन दिस स्टैंडिंग स्टिल काइंड ऑफ अ मोड एंड एवरी थिंग इज गोइंग टू हैपन वन एवर इट इज मैन टू बी काइंड ऑफ अ डील आई डोंट सी मच एक्शन हियर बट आई डू सी अ चेंज इन परसपेक्टिव अ चेंज इन एनर्जीज अ शिफ्ट इन एनर्जीज लाइक वन एटी डिग्री शिफ्ट इन एनर्जीज एंड परसपेक्टिव एंड your energies and their energies towards you hmm? now august is four of cups it's like a little bit of confusion kind of energy where you will be having options other than your person you are going to either you are going to keep your options open or even if you are going to have lots of options around you you are going to be stuck on a particular person or situation and you are going to feel like these are overall energies for the month it's not like the future uh, uh, i'm not telling you the future here i'm telling you the overall energy for that particular month okay don't take it as like a written in stone kind of a deal i have seen people sulking and crying afterwards okay so that's that is what i'm telling you it's going to be like you guys you are going to have option but you are going to be like what should i do uh, in order to get that one person or that one kind of person that i need in my life okay it's august september we have death card something is going to end or something is going to change drastically it's not going to be the same as it is right now so whatever the situation is right now it's going to drastically change into 180 degree and from there a, a rebirth is going to start in your relationship and uh, like in a love and relationship area okay in september we have october five of swords in october you are going to be like okay let me lead my heart with my mind it's like you are going to be in this energy of okay let me do tit for tat or let me just uh, show them who i am and let me let me just be very practical about things very practical about love very practical about relationship area you are going to be in this defensive mode in october you are going to be like i am not going to allow anybody to hurt me in any way again these are general energies it's not like you are going to do it the whole month it's like going to be, going to be the theme of that month so you can definitely change it right okay november we have seven of cups again in november you are going to have a lot of options in front of you and you are going to be like what should i do should i go with this option should i go with that option you are going to have multiple options or multiple choices at least two options to choose from and you are going to be a little bit in this difficult phase of what should i do next because i don't know how to choose i don't know which one is the best one for me i don't know which one is the good one for me okay and in december the wheel of fortune finally in december the wheel is going to turn in your favor 10th of december onwards i do see everything is going to shift in your love life whatever is happening it will shift uh, for the best for you for you guys it's like sudden flip sudden change in your love life is going to be there so yes there is going to be struggle in your love life but at the same time i do see by the end of this year 2024 i do see there will be a shift a positive shift in your love life and everything will start working out in your favor slowly but surely okay now let's see for those who are in complete no contact or no communication or waiting for the past person or past energy to come back around how it is going to be for them for those of you who are in no contact no communication let's see the overall energy for the next 6 months for those people July, August, September, October, November, December. July is four of pentacles. So it is uh, if you are in no contact or no communication, I think the communication is not going to happen. Or if it, even if it is going to happen, it's going to be a little bit here and there, and then uh, nothing is happening. It's like holding back kind of energy. Whether you are holding back, whether your person is holding back, even if you are, guys are going to communicate, there is not going to be a full on reconciliation kind of energy. or full on coming back together kind of energy as of now in august we have the manifestation card the magician you will be manifesting this connection you will be manifesting a proper communication or the uh, the person that you are connected to they might be manifesting a proper communication but it's like manifestation is going to come to fruition kind of a deal if you are manifesting with a pure heart and pure energy and if you are letting go and letting god let like allowing it to flow okay hmm. september we have the king of swords So in September, I do see you are going to get some kind of clarity, like utter clarity, utter clearance about a particular situation. Either you are going to cut this situation out of your life completely, or you are going to get some kind of answers that you are looking for from a very long time. And finally, you are going to be like realizing that this is it. This is this is gone. This is done. Now I have to let it go. Okay. In September, you are going to be making a final decision of letting go of something or someone out of your life, out of your system completely. Okay. 
october we have two of pentacles in october you are going to be on and off in and out of a situation i do see in october you guys are going to uh, like have a communication or have a proper energy of coming together but at the same time you are going to be like uh, on and off in and out of the situation one foot in one foot out of the situation even if you guys are going to talk it's not going to be a stable kind of energy like a stable kind of a relationship kind of a deal in that month in november we have the death so in november i think finally the game is the chapter is going to be over finally you guys are going to realize that this is it either you are going to complete a cycle with this person or you are completely going to end this relationship and this chapter with your person it differs from person to person varies from person to person but uh november is the time when finally something is going to change and it's going to be like the end of this chapter uh end of this cycle december i do see queen of wands i do see in december finally either if there are good chances of reconciliation if there are good chances of you guys coming together in december finally you guys are going to reunite finally you guys are going to have a brand new beginning in this direction with this particular person or energy that you are waiting for and hoping for and if it is possible please take the please consider all the factors before taking the general readings too personally okay so yes december is a good time for your love life like for singles as well for uh those who are in relationship as well and for those who are in no contact or no communication or waiting for the past person to arrive december is the time when your love life will start going in a very positive direction so this is what i have for you hope this helps to give you a short brief of the coming future for your love life okay so god bless you namaste